I thought we'd agree to use that end cabin for storage only. Yeah, I know, but I thought it might be a better idea to store full Scott out of reach of the third year boys instead. Chris, we're going to be living on top of each other for a week. I don't, I know it. You can't keep him away from them forever. Oh, come on, it's not bothering you, is it? He's telling you, sir. This is supposed to be a toilet, not a wardrobe. Yes, sir, and there's another one opposite. There are 11 of us on this boat, Freddy. We need at least two chemical toilets, and we don't need them in the same cubicle. You're right, then. Where am I supposed to put my stuff? In your bag, under your bunk, like everybody else. Kidding, you don't go shoving stuff like this under a bed. You don't normally bring stuff like this on a canal trip. No, Freddy, no. you've been given a clothing advice for me. Yes, sir. I've got the Aaron sweater and sensible walking boots. Don't That's worry. all you're likely to need. Well, I've got women to impress. Yeah, it's not wrong. One current girlfriend and one ex. Not both on the same boat. Yeah. How do you know which one's which? Do I just get the names mixed up every now and then? While Freddy is restoring this loot to its former state, I want the rest of you upstairs. We've got a few do's and don'ts to go over before we start up the engines. Oh, so we did all that before we came away. Yeah, well, I just want to make sure it's all sunk in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's go. Oh. I hope you're messing with the big boys. I hope you're messing with the big boys. Come on, then. Come on, then. And there we are. Two prize specimens. Come here, you two. The top of the boat should not be used for walking along, remember? And never stand astride boats, remember? Get back. Anything else anybody remembers about getting on and off boats? Have you had a word yet? We've just run through the basic points. You wouldn't care to re-emphasize a few of them, would you, for the benefit of my lot? Especially those four. Right. Carry on mucking about like that when we're going through a lock, and someone will end up having a nasty accident. Well, we'll be wearing night jackets, though, won't we, miss? Yeah, but that won't make much difference if you fall in and get squashed between the boats, will it? Or sucked under when they open the sluice. Yeah. Quite, <laughs> quite. Which is why we'll be reinforcing the safety procedure throughout the week. And don't forget to wear rubber-soled shoes whenever possible. Those decks can get very slippery when they're wet. What if it don't rain, miss? I was thinking more of when you have mocked them. Yeah. My big math. <laughs> You'll all be taking turns at being deckhands. Oh, well, it don't seem a lot of points. I mean, it's not that much deck, is there? There's plenty inside to be cleaned and tidied. Besides, it's the deckhands who get to operate the locks and to steer the boats. Yeah. Yeah. Exception of you lot. Why? You have to concentrate to steer. Do you honestly think you lot are capable of that? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. All right, then, let's see how hard you can concentrate tonight on sausage, beans and mash. Oh, you just watch me, because I'm starving. And I pack that lot away, no trouble. You have to cook it first. Do you think you can handle it? Doddle. All right, then, off you go. <coughs> One thing does worry me, though. The television set. I haven't been able to find it yet. Yeah, there's a good reason for that. Don't tell me there isn't one. All right, then I won't tell. Oh, no. No telly. What are we going to do after our tea? You reckon we're not fit enough to steer? I mean, let Selena take over the controls? Well, I told you not to muster about coming up here, didn't I? I didn't. I wasn't even on the same minibus. I don't know why you didn't stay with the girls, Gardner. Sitting with girls instead of your mates. I don't know. That's his compensation. Such as? Such as I'll probably get a steer boat for any of you lot, too. You don't want to fit on that, do you? 50 feet. You're right. Nice. Oh, <laughs> <Don't> stop it. <laughs> nice 50 feet. 
Right, who's doing what then? I'm doing a mash, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, you're sure you can cope with sausages and beans? <laughs> can Kenny Dagley's play football? Only now some room, so if you don't mind cleaning the decks for action. Yeah, well, give us a call if you need anything, will you? Yeah, you just be ready with your knives and forks. Oh, Roland, keep an eye on them for me, will you? I'll do it myself, I will So, you don't have to make it up, just let your bar Okay. Ready? Yeah, come. See you later. Look at him. He thinks he's so wonderful. Julia! He had the nerve to speak to me earlier on. He got my name wrong, of course. Freddy! Julie! You likely to be wandering out of sight? Yeah, we might do, miss. Why? Never less than three of you. You know that. <laughs> oh, look. That's choked him. I'll go, miss. No, I still think you need another boy with you. Oh, Stephen, yeah. would you go? Oh, but I'm playing cards. If you don't go for a walk, they don't go for a walk. Go on. Oh, what? What a ridiculous force, Laura, where are you going? I feel like a strong toe. Look, I didn't exactly volunteer to come this walk, you know. Sorry. Yeah, me too. What are you sorry about? Well, she's my mum. So? She's only doing her job, isn't she? I mean, you never know who could be lurking about in a place like this. Listen, I've got a loud voice. If somebody does grab us, I want half yell. Unless it's you, of course. Yeah, all right. Um, we're going to drift off in another direction, all right? Um, Georgina better stay with us, I think. I mean, you never know places like this. It's weird, isn't he? I mean, give him a chance to be on his own, he drags her along. Look, where were you, Georgina? Sorry? Yeah, well, if you'd been ready, Mrs. Regan would have poking her nose in, would she? You tell him that you already arranged for her to chaperone us. No, not chaperone, no. What then? Listen, I was going to explain... You don't have to. It's bad enough with Julie Glover glaring daggers at me. Listen, it's not like that. With your reputation? Fred, if you're so anxious to take Georgina for a walk, that's your business. But don't expect me to come and all. Freddy! Oh! Oh, no, this is no good. Get ah! away from me! What do I do? Put it, put it back down on that! Uh! You knew he was here all along, didn't you? Yeah, me and George did. Julie didn't. How'd you find us? I've been following you ever since you set off. My mum and dad think I'm on a biking all the day. You got it all planned, didn't you? First night, a little rendezvous. And then what happens? Oh, no, nah, don't tell me. Don't want to know. Come along. <laughs> What's going on? Got a sneaky suspicion we're going to have an unexpected visitor on our boat tonight. Hank Jones? Yeah. That's mad. They'll never get away with it. Mind you, wouldn't it be a giggle if they did? Oh, come on. At least half these beans are stuck solid to the bottom of the pan. And this is supposed to be instant mash, is it? You yeah, I think I put a little bit too much water in it, sir. You're telling me? It'll be a long time before this solidifies, I can tell you. Still, at least the sausages have had a decent cremation. I could knock up a quick cauliflower tree, sir. It's one of my specialities. Good man. Need any help? No. Nope. Right. Just sweep this lot to one side, Roland. Don't touch any of it. And don't bother clearing up any of your own mess either. You wanted to know what you were doing after tea tonight. Check that. Oh, Joe, do you think when everyone's asleep, you could call across to Freddy? He'd let us know if that made or not. How's he supposed to do that? Tap back in Morse code. Oh. 
sir. You're not plugging in for the night, are eh? you? Well, I can't drop off without me walking, sir. Try. I want to sleep too. And I won't with that scratching at my nerves. Come on, Robbie. Coming, sir. Hurry up. Eric's all ready for bed. Then I will be, sir. As long as you tell me where my sleeping bag is. It's very late. And I'm very tired. Ten seconds. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> What now? Someone's put something in it, sir. Go on, let's have a look. There you go. I bet he wondered what's going to drop out your sleeping bag. Good job he didn't look in this one. <laughs> go on, Joe. Please. Freddy! Freddy! Well, listen, you lot. What's that? Sounds like it's coming from the girls' boat. Do you think it's Bertles? Must be. Bertles? Bertles, is that you? Oi, Gardner. It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> right. I've had enough. Nobody snores like that. <laughs> Who is it? Johnny Cole. <laughs> Freddy. <laughs> Freddy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Turn over and lie on your side, will you, Freddy? <laughs> and the rest of you, absolute silence from now on. A bit cold. Yeah, I'm rock hard. Sorry, it's all I could get. Wasn't anyone suspicious? No, it's coming out of this anyway. What is it? Chemical toilet. Don't you want it? But we're all set then? No, Freddy's not here yet, sir. Mm. Whee! <laughs> Take a Freddy, we're going to a farm. Not a disco. You could at least put on some Wellington boots. Wellies? Yes, sir. I wish you had no idea of how to dress, Freddy. Now, you're sure you'll be okay with those four? Oh, yes. We're splitting them up. Luke and Trevor are going to be with me. And if these two even you... think of trying anything... Can you plunge further up the river, then? Have fun. Okay, sir. Hello. Hey, sir. Really? I had a jumper just like that, huh? Really? Yeah. Come on, can you win this a bit now? You got that 50p you owe me? Four. Being the first one of us to steer. Tell you what, make it a pound and you can steer. 75p. Done. Oi, we agreed only you. I'll split the money with you. I'm not interested. What harm is he doing? He promised me I'll let you take over. Ah, oh, leave her alone. She'll get over. This is well easy. Oh, oh no! I'll even let you burn with us standing here. I'm not a bird, and I don't belong to him. All the same, I need to teach you a little lesson. What are you going to do? Just do a bit closer to the bank. Now. 
think we went too close to the bank, Miss. Oh, for heaven's sake. You're hopeless. Give me one good reason why the four of you shouldn't be sent straight home. Chris? The tent? Right. Right, now I've just been over to those woods to pitch a tent. Why, you going camping, sir? No, I'm not. Have you ever read about army survival courses? Oh, yeah, that's when the SAS men jump out of helicopters and they land in some borough moor and they've got no tents and Yeah, that's like it. That. And if they don't find their base before nightfall, dead from exposure. Or worse. Fancy it? Us? Well, you'll have a map and a compass. And once you find the tent, there'll be provisions inside for the night. So what if we don't find it? You go hungry. But that'll be the least of your worries if you're still wandering around once it gets dark. Of course, I wouldn't let just anyone do this. You've got to know how to look after yourself. It takes a special sort of person. But I'm sure you four are made of the right stuff. Or am I wrong? No. no, no. no. Right. Tonight it is, then. It's got to be a trick. They're going to leave us in the, leave us in the middle of nowhere. They're going to leave us. This is useless, this. How are you supposed to read this and see where you're going? You fold it over to the part you need. Well, all right, then you're so clever. You do it, then. And you haven't said much, have you? Yeah, well, what am I supposed to say? Well, you've got the compass. So? Well, so give me some directions. You yeah, well, how can I give you some directions till he's got the map ready, can I? Yeah, some people can turn away by the stars, you know. Well, I want to be inside that tent before they come out. Have you ever seen them jungle films? It's always the last boat that gets jumped on. He's right, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't swap places with those four. Would you? They get really creepy in the dark woods. And if they don't find that tent... Oh, I know where I'd rather be. Oh, hello. We're in the best place tonight. What do you reckon? You don't know what you're looking at, do you? Oh, so what are you going to do with it then? I've got more of an idea than what he is, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah? Well, you can have the compass as well, then. It's going to be dark soon. Thanks a lot, mate. Now, listen, we're here, right? No, no, we're, we're not. not. We're there. We're not even looking at the back now. Shut up. We're in somewhere. Oh, hey, miss. Huh? Those poor boys. Yes? Well, in the woods tonight on their own. It's a bit risky, isn't it? Hmm. It will be extremely risky if they were on their own. But they're being followed. Goodbye. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. A fiend so foul, they don't dare turn and look. But they feel the hotness of his breath in their neck. <laughs> <laughs> they run. But there's nowhere to hide, and their legs can't carry them clear of the beast. His presence is everywhere. Oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 you so not you are. <laughs> and all the time, the breath is stifling, suffocating, as he moves closer and closer. <laughs> they find their tent and scramble inside, their hands trembling, they can hardly zip up the flap. <laughs> they huddle together, hoping the beast has lost them. But then, 
the darkness of this huge shadow passes over them, like an eclipse of the moon. Their shrieks of terror pierce the air for miles around, but are soon silenced as the beasts just say... <laughs> There's a clearing over there. Let's head for that. I'll say we keep running. Look, I don't alarm you lot, but I've got a definite feeling there's someone around. Don't start on that again. I'm serious. Come on. See what I see, boys. Oh, oh. <sighs> I'm positive I can hear someone moving about the out there. Look, you say that again, the most thing about it. We'll have a look. You can try. No, I'll tell you something. I never thought I'd miss that boat. Yeah. At least you know where you are on the water. Yeah. the camera. Do you get any sleep? Must have done, but it don't feel like it. Me neither. I kept hearing noises. They're still out there. Listen. Let's wait the others up, eh? Hey? Yeah. <sighs> Trev! Fake the next one. What? What? Bit jumpy, ain't you, Trev? Oh, come on, he's like a corpse. Yeah, all right, Rob. Here. What's that noise? We were just wondering that. Now you had a look? No, we thought you might wanna. It's right outside the tent. Yeah, oh, what's going on? We were thinking of making a music. Hey, do you want to sit right outside the tent and see what the weather's like, eh? Oh, that's what I want to use to. Oh, go on, Zig. Go on, Zig, go on. Come on, Zig. Yeah, go on, go on. Go, go on, Zig. Go on, Zig. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Something's going on here. No, just do it. Life out of me. What are you still doing here? I can't get off the boat. Gene! Oh. oh, look at them! Did I see them making all the noise? Not all of it. Sir, where'd you come from? You've been there all night. I've never been more than 50 yards away since you set off. Sir, have you eaten? It's like we're starving. You've got tins of food. Yeah, but Ziggy the Div forgot to bring a can over. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm sure you'll be better prepared for tonight. Oh, no. I would have to do it again, do we, sir? Well, it's better than that boring old boat, surely. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. We love the boat. Love it, yeah. 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 Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's it, that's it, that's it. Get it right. Come on. We can do it. Get it go. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, come on. 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 Oh,
Yeah, all right, Faye, you don't have to film it. Caroline. Hold the rope, so. What was that knot you showed them? Around two and two half hitches. It's usually very reliable. Something wrong with a knot. Someone must have untied it, sir. Nah, I don't want to do that. That's stupid. I bet I know some who are coming. Who's this, right? What are you still doing? Oh, I haven't had the chance to get off yet. You haven't been here all day, have you? Why did Georgina come and find you? Why did I tell her where you've been? Yeah, let's all have a good laugh. <laughs> How many gallons of water does it take to get an hour boat for a lock? About 25. That must be more than that. 25,000, <laughs> Wally. Can't be that much water, you know. Ignore him, Cal. I am. Hey, miss. I was thinking. In the olden times, when these boats was actually boats, you know, like what was sitting in was full of coal or whatever, where did the kids do their lessons then? What kids? They didn't have barge trips then. Oh, you burk. I meant the kids who lived in the boats. Well, they wouldn't bother with lessons then. No, yes, they did. They were put ashore, especially to go to school. Really, miss? Mm, they hated it, mind you. Much preferred being on the boats. I wonder what I'd say if they could see him now they've been turned into floating classrooms. You're really ignorant, you are, aren't you? It's really interesting this nature and stuff. Yeah? Well, I suppose you know all these birds then, do you? Yeah, I do, actually. Dabchick, heron, coot, kingfisher, snipe and white. Yeah, all right, all right. Thank you for the vegan. Yeah, well, you did ask. And anyway, I'm fit to go on bird nesting. What, nicking eggs? No, just looking. It'd better be an old. Yeah. You fancy it? It's nesting. Well, why not? Not much point to it, really, is there? It's a bit like transporting. Who's in there? It's been occupied all day. Get a move on in there. Right, now get him out of there, quick. Hello, Mr. Scott. Right, ready? I'm up deck, you know. Can you take over the tiller? Ronald's got cramp in his elbow. Yeah, sure. cases by the look of it. I think so. Uh, I wouldn't put it past these two to go and tie more ropes in the middle of the night, would you? Don't mind us, will you? We won't. We're talking to them. So will we. Not jealous by any chance, are you? <laughs> jealous? Of these two? You want to be a bit more careful who you speak to. It was you wanted to let our boat loose last night. So so. Mm -hmm. Never laugh, was it? I'll say it was seriously funny. Well, you don't have a sense of humour, you understand. In fact, we're going to demonstrate it to you. My friend, you in a canal. Oh, Robbie, Gunch, all of you. Boys, give us a hand. Don't oh, leave them. You gotta come and see this. Come on. You're begging for this. What did I do? Stop! No, no, stop! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at the mess he's in. <laughs> I'm not. It's not the state of it. I'm covered in slime and filth. What can you warn me before I went in there? Would you have put on a waterproof jacket if we had? I mean, a waterproof jacket. To think what it would do to your image. <laughs> 
Savage, you had a wash? Yep. You sure? Yes. Oh, no. You spread it so you can't miss it. It's him. It's not. It's coming in your direction. <laughs> Look, it's not me. Maybe come over here, mate. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. The smell's still over here. Well, we'll check under his bunk, then. <laughs> Go on. Mate, it's your bunk. Oh, God. How come you didn't smell that? I've got a bit of a cold. Oh, what's in it? Oh, yeah. Never mind what's in it. Just get rid of it. It's not mine. Don't care whose it is. Lose it. Where? I'm going to give it to the count of ten, right? If you're still standing here, when I finish counting... One, one two, two, three, four... Yeah, oh, I'll have some somewhere. Yeah. I wonder what was in that. Probably a pair of trainers. Oh, club. Yeah, that's right. They're from that trip to the farm and back the other day, aren't they? That's right. You mean to tell me they've been under that bunk all this time? No, they sort of travelled up and down the boat a bit. Oh, wouldn't it be a lot easier just to, like, give them a wash or something? Yeah, probably, but... No, I thought they'd give a place uh, a sort of smell of the country. Mm. Oh, Dear. Trust you. Must have been mad to let you talk us into this. Yeah, you can't. Laura, where are you going? Just for a walk. But I thought you wanted to look at these. No, not really. Oh, I've had enough of this. Who's coming back to the boat? Yeah. Here, look. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, too many for us anyway. Yeah. We'll be all right here, though. Yeah, we will be. But what about Ziggy? He's still up that tree. Look, there's a kid up that tree. <laughs> Not anymore, there ain't. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's ruined. What am I going to do now, eh? Are you alright? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's broken. Uh, uh. Oh, no. I think it's only a dislocated finger. Still, that's painful enough, and it'll have to be checked out anyway. Uh, it's on its way. Oh, I asked Ginny to phone for a taxi. It'd be the quickest way to get to the nearest casualty department. Well, I'll go with him. Okay. Yes, that's fine for this next. 
<laughs> right then, who's making the hot chocolate and reading us a bedtime story? Oh, Freddie, don't tell me you haven't enjoyed yourself this week. No, miss, I wouldn't say that. It's just the, uh, the pace of the nightlife I can't keep up with. In that case, I suggest you conserve your energy for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Why? Where are we going? Remember, I want to pitch that oh, tent. Yeah. Forget it. You're not taking me camping. <laughs> no, Freddie, I wouldn't dream of trying. No, I saw a local disco advertised. And as we're going back that way late tomorrow, I arranged for us all to go. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that leaves tonight still. Ah, yeah. oh, but I have yet another surprise up my sleeve. Or rather, in my cabin. Oh, what is it, sir? A guitar. Someone fetches it, we'll have a sing-song. Oh, ging gang gooly gooly I'll chop up a table, start a campfire, shall I? <laughs> You're not keen, Freddy. I can sense uh, it. Sir, if it's all the same to you, I'll, I'll settle down and listen to some real music. See you a lot later. Oh, I mean, uh, I'll go, sir. Oh, Julia. Back by now, if we'd have got a cab. It's only a short walk. Yeah, but that's if you know where you're going. What's happening now? Come on.
a slight accident with a gas tank. Is she bad? She was a bit distraught. Well, he would be. He's had a narrow escape. It wasn't that narrow, fortunately. No, he was more upset because he was a bit sick all over his clothes. <laughs> Well, there's not much wrong with our Freddy then, is there? No, not really, but obviously we want him checked out at the hospital. Who found him? <clears throat> Thereby hangs the tale. Anthony? Jones! What were you doing on the boat? Apparently he's been with us every night since we set off. Did you check for one extra? Mm. Neither did I. This gets worse. Well, as it happens, it was fortunate we had him along. Please, miss, don't send him home. It's the last day tomorrow. Georgina, we have no choice in the matter. It's not that we're not grateful to Anthony, but now that we know he was here, we can't possibly let him stay. It's not as if he's still a Grangeville pupil anyway. That's the thanks you get. Uh-uh. The thanks you get will be that we won't inquire too closely into who it was that planned this little deception with Anthony in the first place and helped him sneak on and off the boat when our backs were turned. We're ready to go. Right. Look, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have been missing about. Look, it's not your fault. If it's anybody's fault, it's mine. I should have checked the gas tap before I went back to bed. I don't blame you, honestly. Honestly. Honestly, Julie. Nice try, Freddy. Oh, what? I ain't done it again, have I? Hop in, Anthony. We'll drop you off at the station after Freddy's been given you all clear. Well, I'll buy it. But we'll take that back in the minibus. You can collect it at Grange Hill. Not that we don't trust you. Oh, Chris, have you got any idea of the trains to London? More to the point, where's the station? Oh, God. No, I wasn't... No, it's all right. Now that I've found my bearings, I'll probably get back quicker than you would anyway. Listen, Fred, make sure he gets a taxi. Well done. Well done. I think we'd better keep a closer eye on this lot. Otherwise, there won't be anybody left fit to go disco dancing tomorrow night. So, what time is disco supposed to start, anyway? Don't ask me. I didn't even know we were going to one until today. Oh, well, Phil did rather spring it on us. He's been quite a revelation one way and another mm. on this trip, hasn't he? I wouldn't have known him for the same person. Still, you know what they say, nothing like a holiday to get to know somebody. <laughs> You'll reap the benefit with those third years next term. Oh, at last! Is this for the benefit of Stephen Banks? Or is there a chance of you perhaps meeting someone more your own age tonight? And here are your chaperones for the evening. We've got some chosen. Very smart. Where's Freddy? Ah, he's uh, somewhat reluctant to show himself. Why? Well, what with one thing and another this week, he's got no clothes left to wear. None at all. Well, not what he calls proper clothes. So he's wearing something. <laughs> Freddy, dear, where are you? Sweet kids, are you coming out or am I coming in? <laughs> oh, an Aaron sweater and wellies, I see. Yeah, that's right, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, sugar, I'm, I won't desert you. Just as well, really. No chance of pulling anybody else wearing this lot, have I? Oh, you say the nicest things. Right then, sir. Is lead us off to the bright lights, I reckon. Right, let's go. Is this it? I believe it. By the looks of this place, I can be dressed in the right gear after all. Nah, <laughs> your walking boots would have been better. Ah, well, that's it. I'm going back to the boat. So glad you could make it. We're really looking forward to meeting you all. <laughs> Come on. 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 Come on.
them kids again. Only Selena could have arranged this. My fussy changed. Nazi. Once a Wally. Always a Wally.